Hey everybody, Spoonfat here, and today we're gonna start our FTP adventure. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this URL. So FileZilla-project.org, and you're gonna download the FileZilla client because I'm not gonna be making a server. And we're going to do the setup. Now, FileZilla is not the only one out there that's a free FTP solution. It's just something that, I don't know, I, I like it. It's easy to use. And it's just one solution. The only thing FileZilla doesn't handle that well um, is like editing. PHP and then re-uploading it. That's something that goes wrong sometimes. So, but then again, it's uh, not that big of a deal to download it and then to edit it separately and then upload it again. Open the file, please. Right, something went wrong there, but we're here. I agree. Uh, anyone who can use this, uh, I want a desktop icon. That's always handy. Yes. Uh, no, I do not need a start menu. Shortcut for this one. All right. Well, as this is installing, which should not take too long. Um, this morning I was like in my uh, dressing room and uh, um, from the corner of my eye I, th I thought I saw a uh, like a spider uh, yeah finish up. start right now uh, from the corner of my eye I thought I saw a spider on like um, yeah, how do you call them and not like curtains but they're like really sheer so uh, I thought oh, okay no not not a big deal but uh, the way it looked was pretty cool so I wanted to make a picture of that so I got down and I got my camera and I got Mephisto uh, because Mephisto liked like playing with uh, bugs and stuff like that or spiders in any way. And then I took a close look the second time I was up and I thought, oh no, it looks like a uh, like a cicada or uh, or a grasshopper. You know, it looked like that. And uh, <laughs> so I said to Mephisto, you know, attack. And he wanted to kill it, but. The moment I took a picture and uh, I got a third look at it, like from a different angle, I saw it had wings and it was this huge, like almost yellow jacket, um, like a <laughs> hornet. So I was like, oh, that's not good. So I wanted to keep Mephisto away from it because I don't want him to bite it and uh, get like the stinger in his mouth or whatever. And uh, he pawed the, the bug and it just stayed there. It didn't even move. You know, it was, I don't know, it just looked dead. And it turns out this one was not a big yellow jacket, but was a queen of some sorts. But she was frozen because my home in that room doesn't have heating. So, and it's winter here. So she was, <laughs> so she's just dead, but he wanted to really play with that bug. So I had to pick him up and throw him out of the room and then close the room. And uh, he was not happy with that. But man, I got scared when he was trying to bite it, and I knew it was a a uh, a, a wasp or something. That was not a f nice moment. Um, yes, the free open source solution. All right, this is what um, an FTP program looks like. So, what are we looking at exactly? Um, here at the top, as in this field where my mouse cursor is in, we'll show the messages that's what's going on. Well, it's not very important to read them, but 
you know, sometimes there's an error there and you can look at it. This is local site, but local site in this case means your computer. So you have all your drives here and all kinds of stuff. And the remote site is where we're going to connect to. So that's something else. Here it will say which file it's going to be uploading. Here it will say which files it failed to upload. And here it will say which ones are successfully uploaded. Um, and then here at the top there's a quick connect bar which says the host the username the password. Well the password is under my control V right now so I'm gonna do that load that up first. Uh, this one can close. This is my host name and this is my username. Well I blocked out the username because and the password I blocked out but I mean this one you could get if you do a ping spoon fed or so which I might add we could just do it's not a big deal if we do a ping spoon fed org you will see that this one is exactly the same as that one so um the port is usually 21 yeah 21 so uh it will per default it will do 21 uh, and that's it basically so if you don't if you have a different port or something then you should specify the port number as well I'm gonna do quick connect and there you see a lot of stuff and here we are connected to my fabulous server now uh, just to like give you some stuff that's um, going on uh, they have pure FTP driver on there. Uh, I'm user one of 50 allowed, so um, you know there can be 50 connections to my FTP server here for m my username. Uh, the local time there is way earlier with server port 21. Private system no anonymous login, so you, sorry guys, you cannot do an anonymous login. Uh, that's not supported. Uh, IPv6 are welcome. Well, you will be disconnected after 15 minutes of inactivity important note to use uh, well the user and password um, I blocked out but basically it says user hmm, okay password required password given with these are actual commands like issued if you were to do a let's say I don't know for example FTP from the command line you would do user blah blah pass blah blah and all. well um, 30 okay is cool and then current directory is that syst is to show you what is the system type Feed is to show what is um, accepted. Well, you have here a bunch of commands and stuff that are on the server that you can read. I'm not gonna do them all. And then it says connected. Okay, retrieving directory list. Uh, PBD is print working directory, which is root directory. Uh, type one, eight bit binary. Um, the passive mode that has something to do with how you upload stuff. So I'm not gonna go in that too like deeply right now because that's some advanced stuff that we'll we'll um, get to that when we like maybe build our own FTP server or something. I'm gonna do that as well. Um, and here you see you see uh, like options, 20 meshes, and the directory listing for that. So that's all the commands like. Uh, in one go that uh, you can see and you can use this one the upstairs like th this um, field to navigate or you can use this field to navigate I'll just do it like so and I'll sh show you this one because that's a little bit easier this is all for the control panel uh, and as soon as I'm getting on one of these you can see what's beneath it because it will load every time the whole thing like recursively uh, Fantastico data Fantastico is a sort of a add-on for control panel in which you can like select stuff you want to install and it will install everything for you on the server it's great for first-time users but I want to show you this way because it's well it's good to know that you can use this as well like you know what you're really doing because you cannot upload everything like uh, if you want to have a custom picture on it and 
it doesn't work via WordPress, then most people are stuck because they don't know how to upload something to their server. So that's what I'm going to do here. And as you can see here, there's some Joomla WordPress and stuff like that. Uh, the font config, uh, that's like there are a couple of fonts in there that will be extra loaded or something. Uh, so, the HD passwords file um, uh, is uh, a file that will um, contain passwords for like, um, well, for directories. You can specify which directory needs a password if you want to log into it. I'm just gonna pause the video right now because uh, my neighbor had a question. I think. All right. Uh, yeah, that was my neighbor. He had a uh, birthday card for me because my dad keeps forgetting my address. So that's pretty cool. Um, HT password. Yeah, we yeah, we got, we got that. Uh, SQL mail. No, oh, sorry, uh, not SQL mail. Oh my God, Squirrel mail attachment. Um, I've used different mail programs. I'm going to use it in the future, but Squirrel mail is one on the web server, and this will contain the attachments. This will contain the data, the access logs. Very important. And the, <laughs> this is pretty funny um, because it ends in a dot com. <laughs> this will uh, Windows like will see it as a MS DOS application, which is really stupid because it's just a file. You should open it as a file. Uh, but these are the um, like the root. I've blurred them out, but you know that's 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 okay. Uh, these are like the access logs, um, and it contains everything. We will be um, spitting through these with a with a couple of programs. I, usually, I don't know if I'm going to do multiple programs, but raw access logs contain the data you need uh, for, um, well, basically everything. You can see the visitors is coming, which keywords they were coming from, uh, which referral, um, how long they stayed on the page, which page they click next. Everything is in the raw access logs. I'm going to, pardon me, I'm going to be using, um, I think, maybe three programs to show you stats that you can use from other things like uh, Google Analytics for example uh, Pwik is one and I'm gonna be showing you advanced web stats that comes with the um, uh, cPanel itself so that's it. uh, the Etsy directory has I have no idea actually what it has um, I know what it normally is but I don't know in this case what it has so gonna go into my one. Oh, it has that one okay yeah, it has some uh, yeah yeah okay no nope, no nope, nope. all right yeah I blurred that all because that's sensitive information uh, the mail which has the uh, mail data for my mail server so um, I'm going to show you that in a another video as well the public FTP is uh, a URL that you can use so people can use like a FTP function on your site public HTML well that's where everything is located then you have a temp folder which has like here you can see its stats and stuff that you need for like online stuff for cPanel and here you have the www directory well the www directory is the same as the public HTML underscore HTML directory uh, this is usually called your like web root or something like that but basically what it means is here it will contain the directories for the sites as well so I'm gonna uh, keep this one open at the top and continue down here these first ones um, don't pay attention to it um, they're all used for like shared hosting and stuff like that so don't be used Alright, here you have blog. I'm not going to go in there. Uh, here's the CGI bin directory, so for uh, CGI scripts, which we'll be covering as well. I'm not going to go too uh, into detail with that. Fancy box is something that I use for a theme as well as GS. Then we get to this one, for example. Here you see. Um, hacking.spoonfed.org this is what it looks like 
but you know and you can go into user system and whatnot and you find everything uh, that's a Habari install but for example for a seal this is what a WordPress install looks like now you see all the directories and the WP files and stuff like that that's all for uh, WordPress and we see here showcase um, you now I've got some directories on here I need to clean up actually because those are all themes that I need to remove so it's pretty good that I'm looking right here right now oh yeah this stuff all here <laughs> that's pretty cool I need to remove this one as well because people could download that it's not good um, not anymore of course once this thing has been aired and nobody has downloaded it yet because nobody is seen it yet um, but all this stuff these HTML files are you, you can see them because this is for uh, my main domain name so my www is for the main domain and let's say you create a directory in here that doesn't automatically mean that it's gonna be a subdomain so um, let's say for example this one does not exist um, you have to tell the server because you need to put them in the DNS cache as it were you need to tell the domain name server part of the server this is an actual domain name if you don't do that then people won't be able to get to that part of your uh, site so just remember that keep that in mind and I'm gonna remove all of this because it's not necessary because what this all is is for my other projects so and it's gone now um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah this is this is for example uh, spoonfed.org so oh no that's not what I wanted I wanted to go up no that's too far up all right here we are and I'm gonna be putting ourselves in showcase there you go well in showcase you now have CGI bin which is a uh, CGI script directory which you can call scripts for. Well, I'm not going to do that yet, but um, we will be doing that in the future. And here you can see every time, like CD up, okay, you know, here, uh, print working directory, this because then you see what's in that directory. Um, so far, this is the FTP uh, FileZilla program. And basically, that's it. Now I know some of you are watching me and say, well, you're making a unsecure connection because it's not SFTP and God knows what else. Yes, I could make it a encrypted connection and I should have made it a encrypted connection, but I listen to my own network and I see that nobody is listening into this connection. So that's why I did not do it. And we will be tackling that problem Oh, maybe like one another install that we're gonna do. Uh, this is it for me f so far for uh, FTP FileZilla and well, that's basically it. And logging in and what it looks like. Uh, so I will see you next time, and we'll be going to install Drupal and what that looks like and the whole thing around it.